Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course, uh, so yeah, last time in this episode we're going to be looking at what? Drying agents. Drying agents. The ones we call what? Desiccants. Okay, we call them desiccants, drying agents. Okay, all right, do not forget to like this video. Liking this video will make other students easily find this video. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscription will send notification to your own phone whenever what we release a new video. And do not forget to what to share to your friends and your loved ones. Let them learn and also what pass. Ah, be you know what made a pass with you. All right, please keep, keep sharing this, those videos. All right, to Facebook, to WhatsApp groups. All right, keep sharing. All right, so now. Do not forget that this tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the OT School Jamba. But let's see a question from the app. A 2016 question number 22. A 2016 question number 22. It says, ammonia gas can be dried using A, H2SO4, B, uh, uh, diphosphorus pentoxide, P4O10, C, uh, calcium oxide, D, calcium chloride. All right? So I want to come back to this question and many other questions at the end of the class. So please... Do not run away, do not run away, what is no good. All right, so now let's look at what drying what agents. What are drying agents from the word drying? Drying, that means that what? They, they extract what? Water, okay? They, they extract water. So it's extraction of what? Of molecular water from another substance. That's what drying agents do. Okay, so we said that what? Drying agents, drying agents, Okay, uh, substances that extract molecular water from another substances. Another was substance. Uh, substances that extract molecular molecular water from another substance. Okay, so that is called drainage. They extract, they extract, they remove water. Okay, they extract molecular water from what? From another water substance. Those are what we call drying agent or what or desiccants. Okay, and the elimination of water from another substance in the form of its constituent ions. Okay, it's what we call dehydration. Dehydration. Okay, the elimination. The elimination of what? Of water. Okay, from another substance in the form of its constituent ions. Okay, it's what we call what dehydration. Take note of that. Let me put that down. The elimination of water. Okay, water molecules. Okay, in the form. Okay, let me say from another substance. From another substance. From another substance. From another substance in the form of its constituent ions, of its consti constituent ions, is known as what? As is known as what? Dehydration. It's known as dehydration. Okay, so we'll see what drying agents say that substances that extract molecular what? water. From what? From another word, substance. They extract molecular water from another substance. Why the elimination of water molecules from another substance in the form of its constituent ion is what we call what? Dehydration. Okay? And they are mainly hygroscopic or deliquescent substances. Dry agents are mostly what? Hygroscopic or what? Deliquescent what? Substances. Deliquescent. The liquid substance they are mostly what hygroscopic or what the liquid what substances. Okay, come on, let us look at some common drying gases, some drying agents rather, some common drying agents and the gases that they dry. Okay, let's look at some common drying what uh, agents and the gases. In the last episode, we'll talk about some drying agents, we'll talk about calcium oxide, we'll talk about uh, concentrated tetras of acid, we'll talk about uh, calcium chloride, okay, we'll talk about copper oxide, we'll talk about some of them. All right, so let us see those what drying agents, and then we'll now look at this This episode is going to be very short, okay? So look at what the uh, the gases that they dry. So do not run away with no good. All right, so please, if you have not still liked this video by now, okay, that thing you are doing is very what wrong. All right, click on that like button immediately. Click on that like button immediately and do not forget to what to subscribe to this channel and click on the share button. Share to somebody, please. 
share to somebody. No, they say for our family, we know they share something. Okay, please share it. All right. So now let's see drying agents. Drying agents. Then we'll see what gas is what dried. All right, drying agents and what and what gases they what they dry. Okay, the first drying agent we are going to look at is silica gel. Silica gel. Okay, this silica gel is a drying agent and it dries all gases. It dries what all gases. Okay, silica gel is a drying agent. It dries. You must know them in your head though. So you are not just doing it for play. Silica gel dries all gases. Now also we also have H two SO four. Okay, H2SO4 dries all gases except ammonia, dries all gases except am ammonia and hydrogen sulfide. Okay, you must take note of that. Okay, H2SO4 dries all gases except what ammonia and what and hydrogen what sulfide. Okay, so you can I think also does not dry hydrogen bromide too. Okay, in fact, generally gases um uh, dry agents that have or that are acidic, okay, they do not what dry bases, okay, so that they do not what go and react with what with them, okay, they do not, they go on, they, so that they do not go and react with them. So just take that as what as they take home, okay. As um, dry agents that are acidic, do not what dry bases because what they can what react with what with those what bases you get, all right. So now that is what that that's what H two SO four can dry all gases except what ammonia and hydrogen what sulfide so also also have what uh p205 that's what p4010 okay this is what diphosphorus what pentoxide diphosphorus pentoxide this one also p205 it dries all gases except ammonia it dries all gases except Ammonia, that is what NH3. Okay, so it dries all gases except ammonia. That's what diphosphorus pentoxide. They will have what CaCl2. Okay, CaCl2. Also, this CaCl2 dries all gases except ammonia. Okay, and you need to see right it. Okay, it dries all gases except ammonia. All right, then of course, we now have the last one, which is what. CaO calcium oxide. This one dries ammonia. It dries what ammonia gas. Okay, comfortably well. All right, so uh, must take note of all this table. All right, please put it in your in the back of. If you want to write paper, do operation, two kinds of head, to do it. Okay, you need this knowledge because some questions come out under this. All right, silica gel dries all gases. H2SO4 all gases except ammonia and H2S. P2O5, dries all gases except ammonia. CaCl2, all gases except ammonia. CaO, dries what ammonia. So let's go to the O3 school jump up now and take some questions on the app and we are done with this class. This is a 2016 question number 22. They said, ammonia gas can be dried using ammonia gas. Ammonia gas. Okay, let us see. Can be dried using what? All right, that is what? CaO. Ammonia gas can be dried using what? Cashew. Oxide. A they say H2SO4, B they say P4O10, C they say calcium oxide, D they say CaCl2. Correct answer guess what is calcium oxide. Can dry what ammonia. You see that? So now they say which of the following drying agent is not suitable for drying hydrogen sulfide? It's not suitable for drying hydrogen sulfide. Okay, as you can see here, H2SO4 does not dry what hydrogen sulfide. Okay, so now let us see the option. A they say CaO. B, they say P4O10, C, they say CaCl2, D, they say H2SO4, okay? And that is what? Correct, H2SO4. That is what? It is not suitable for drying what? Hydrogen sulfide. So, drying agents is very important, you know them all. So, now, um, 2005, number 40. The gas that can be dried using concentrated tetraoxyphacic acid. The gas that can be dried using what concentrated tetraoxyphacic acid is what? A. They say what? Hydrogen bromide. B. Sulfoxide. D. Hydrogen sulfide. It does not dry hydrogen sulfide. D. They say ammonia. It does not dry ammonia. Okay. So also it will not dry hydrogen bromide. 
All right. Do not dry hydrogen with bromide. All right. Then of course the correct answer there will be what will be sulfur so four oxide. Okay. So the most suitable uh, gases with dry there is what is sulfur so four oxide. All right. So this and many more questions on the O three school jammer. Download the app immediately today and start practicing your way to success. Waiting no good. All right. My name is Master T. Your Grand Commander. I will see you in the next class.